So today is April. April. Hey, Shamara just texted me. Today is April 26th, I think. And it's 5.15. And it is day three of me losing my mom. And so what happened today was, sorry, her picture caught my eye and I was just looking at it. Um, Hmm. Sorry. <laughs> I be getting messages. Um, what happened today was um, she came to me. So my best friend calls me like a baby medium. Or like a, uh, she says I have the medium starter pack. So I had a, a, an experience where a spirit came through me as if I were a medium prior to me knowing that I was a medium. And the way that it happened was I was, um talking to this guy who you know we are supposed to be just friends but because he has a girlfriend but you know of course those lines get blurred when you're like actually bonding with someone and so it was kind of like mm, i don't know how i feel about this but it like I, ha I haven't done anything but it just feels like this is not a good idea like i even pulled cards on it and the and spirit was like this is not a good idea so, um, but anyway, I continue like carrying on this friendship with this guy, even though I knew like it's probably not good. So the guy, um, he lost his grandfather and his grandfather, um, he told his, so he has gifts too. And so he told his grandfather, like, when you pass, you can come to me, you can come through me. So when I was talking to him, his grandfather started coming through me and I was like, you know, I have this message for you. I'm pretty sure it's from your grandfather. Um, here you go. And so he was like, he didn't understand. Well, prior to me giving the message, he was like, I don't understand. No, 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 sorry. Just after me giving the message, he was like, I don't understand why he would come to you when I told you, or I told him that um, he could come to me. And the reason for that was, and this is all that my book is about, like how to communicate with your ancestors. Like you cannot communicate with your ancestors when there is unresolved trauma. You can't, you cannot. They can like, they can like, they can like send you coded shit, but you're not gonna know what it means. Like, it'll just be like, ah, it's like you're trying to talk to me. Like, like some something will happen where it'll be like, I had a dream about mommy last night. And then whoever else will be like, oh, I had a dream about her too last night. And it's like, yes, cause she was there and she was trying to like, blink to get y'all attention but it's like y'all not y'all not getting it so the reason for that when that happens is because y'all have unresolved trauma so what his grandfather wanted me to tell him was you his grandfather wanted me to tell him that you know so his whole thing the reason why he was struggling the trauma was that he was mad at his father. My friend was mad at his father because his father seemingly never acknowledged what length my friend went to to not make him look bad in front of his father. So he never let on, or he so he thought, he never let on to his grandfather that the son that he raised was being a bad father to him. And he felt like him doing that was doing his father a solid. And meanwhile, the, on the other side of that, his father is dealing with the fact that his dad just died without ever acknowledging the fact that he never told or he never let on to his grandson that he's actually not as good of a man as you think he is. Like you idolize this man and you think he's so good, but I never, I never let on to how horrible you were when I was a child. And he's dealing with that completely oblivious to the fact that his son is struggling with these exact same feelings and so the cycle continues and the cycles they they manifest in different ways but they typically have very similar fruit like whatever that trauma is there will be events in your life that will lead you to it the events will be different obviously because it's a different life but it's going to lead to the same endpoint if you don't do away with that path like all together like you have to be like yeah we're not doing this anymore we're not doing that anymore next let's look somewhere else 
I already checked here. Like this route doesn't work for our family. And so that's the message that he wanted to give his grandson, essentially. And I don't even know if I if I related that well, like as well as I just did. I don't even know, because again, like this was my first experience with somebody coming through me. And I was like, okay, um, you know, throughout the experience, I was fine. I was calm and I didn't get scared. I wasn't, it wasn't traumatizing for me at all. But when, when the experience was over, I was like really shook. I was like, y'all didn't tell me that somebody can do that. And it was like this feeling of, we, he bum rushed, like he bum rushed it. And, but it was like, they gave him a pass because it was urgent to him. And they understood the trauma that he was experiencing, having just passed. Like, they understood, so they were like, okay, we're not going to do anything because if they would have like intervened while that I was having that experience, then that could have been traumatizing. Like that something, it could have it could have turned the experience south. Because if that man is now becoming angry and I'm experiencing anger that I don't understand, like you know, so they just let him do. Because they were like, we're here. If shit goes weird, we got you. You're handling it. Like she's doing well. She didn't expect this, but she's doing well. Just let her go. So that happened. And then it was like this feeling of like after that, it was like this feeling of my friend's grandfather like promised like I'll make sure that my grandson does right by her and da 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 da. And it's like no, <laughs> like like you're basically promising your grandson's hand in marriage, and it's like no, we don't, we didn't. You're not supposed to be here. Like you can't offer your more of you as the fix for what you just did. Like so. I had this feeling that my grandmother was like pulling me to the side and she was like, you don't do shit with this boy until I say, like until you get a, a very definite and clear sign for me that it's okay. And so, sorry, my son came to the door. He wants to be in here with me, but I want to just get this out real quick. So, um, yeah, they're like, my grandma's like, you know, you don't even FaceTime him until I say because after that experience he started feeling like i think you're my wife like the ball started rolling on that in real time like he's like you know i think that you're my wife but he was in a relationship so it was like mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> no sir no sir no sir <laughs> i'm not doing that mm -mm. if you want me you need to make it right like I'm not, I'm not about to be known as no side chick. Like no, no, no. You need to make it right. And I made that very clear. Like a couple of times, I was like, hey, like I think I even put him to, you know, put him to the side, like via text. But you know, like, hey, um, what are you doing? And you know, it was like a very coded text mess, text message conversation. But it was like we were talking about the same thing, and I'm like. If we continue down this path, we are, something is going to happen. Like this is not going to end well for your girlfriend or for any of us because this is about to be bad. And he's like, "No, I wouldn't let it. I wouldn't let that happen. I wouldn't let it get to the, that point." And da, da, da. and I'm like, "Listen, <laughs> if we continue down this road, it is not going to end well. Like I'm telling you, I've been through this. It's not going to end well." because it's just not going to end well. So he was like, you know, if, if it was just weird, just God bless that, God bless that relationship. But um, anywho, what ended up being how my, my, my grandparents and my ancestors made it up to me was the lessons that I understood through that encounter ended up being my first book. So, um, Communicating with the Ancestors, A Guide for Black Folk Trying to Find Their Way, that's the book that was birthed through the encounter that I had. That sounded weird. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Like, I had that encounter, that experience, that's a better word, that experience. Um, Lord, this child, I gotta go, y'all. 
But basically, that's where my book came about. I am going to tell you guys the story of how my mother came through me. Apparently, now is not the time. So I'm going to give it time and then I will um, share that with you all. But in the meantime, you can listen to my podcast, uh, which has a lot of spiritual content. I'm sure that season three will be a lot deeper, like a lot deeper than I've been going um, because this experience is purely spiritual. Um, it's purely spiritual. I'm so happy. Um, I'm so happy. I'm just so happy. That's, <laughs> I'm just so happy. So, yeah. Check out the podcast. Purchase the book. Go to www.donnajanae.com. I'm telling you. You're going to be all right, y'all. I love y'all. Bye.